It's time to go back to Ubuntu. Hey everyone, what's happening? It's time for us to take a look at another daily build for Ubuntu 20.04 Alpha Focal Fossa. So I'm going to be going through an install and then we're going to go over the desktop and the versions. So yeah, let's do this. <laughs> well, here we are on the Ubuntu install screen for 20.04. So we're going to go ahead and go through the install. First we're going to go ahead of course and click continue. And of course we're English and we want the English layout for a keyboard. And now we're going to go ahead and hit normal installation. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this because that's going to take up a lot of time and I want to inspect this ISO as is without installing any updates and I am going to install third party software and graphics drivers. I'm going to go ahead and hit control and continue again. Okay, now, of course, we're going to go ahead and click the advanced features right here. Of course, it's going to say use LVM or use ZFS. I am not going to use either, but those are options here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit install now. Now it's going to ask me for confirmation to continue. Now that screen is what's different from this for most Ubuntu installs. Okay, time zone. Now user account. Now a super secure password. And require me to log in each time. And here we go. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off while this is installing. And now we have completed the installation and we're going to go ahead and restart it. I've always enjoyed the Ubuntu install process. It's simple, easy, and straightforward, even for a new user. As you can see, if you have installed Ubuntu before, they have changed a couple pages of it for 20.04. So they've updated the installer a little bit. But other than that, it's about the same. Okay, here we are on the desktop of Ubuntu 20.04. Of course, we've got the startup screen right here. We're just going to skip up, skip most of this. And I'm just going to hit no because... This is just a temporary virtual machine, and yeah, I don't give a crap, and done. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and close out of that. Now, of course, software updates. Uh, apparently, they've released a new kernel since I downloaded this. This was downloaded on the 6th of January, so... Apparently, so I'm just going to hit remind me later because that's going to take a little while. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and open up a terminal and we're going to do a sudo apt, apt update and now I'm going to do a sudo apt install neo fetch because that's not installed by default. Okay, now that we installed NeoFetch, we'll go ahead and run it. Okay, so now we're running kernel 5.4, uh, and it was 5.3 last time when we uh, looked at it last week. And we're using GNOME 
3.34.1 that has not changed and the bash version is the same 5.0.11 so the kernel has definitely changed so we're going to go ahead and look at Firefox next It is Firefox 71, which is expected. That is the current version of Firefox. Now we're going to run Thunderbird. It's 68.3, which is the same version of Thunderbird as well. Okay, now LibreOffice. Six dot three dot four dot two is the same version as well. And we're gonna go ahead and bring up Nautilus. Or GNOME files, whatever you want to call it. And we're gonna go ahead and hit this and hit about. And it's three dot three four dot one. And that's is expected. As you can see, uh we have actually had a kernel change, which is actually pretty good. Uh, the desktop environment seems pretty responsive. Um, let's see. Yeah, it seems pretty responsive to me. But uh, 3.34 is one of the later versions of GNOME, so I kind of expect that. Also, um, one thing I did also forget to check before we sign off of this we are using 713 megs not bad for a GNOME desktop environment at all not bad it used to use about a gig and a half so not bad so as you can see we got a major kernel update which is what I expected and that's about it not much has been upgraded of, as of right now. However, that is going to change. So um, I'm thinking about living in Ubuntu 20.04 Alpha for a little while, like installing on my hopping PC and trying to get work done and seeing how it evolves. Uh, if that's something that you would like to see, let me know, because uh, if I do that, I will probably vlog about it along with my um, uh, my normal content. If that's something you'd like to see, leave a comment below. Um, if you like this video, that's what the thumbs up button is for. If you don't, thumbs down. And uh, definitely consider subscribing if you're new. And I will see you in the next one. If you like my content and wish to support my work, you can do so on Patreon. The link is in the description. Also, if you wish to see more, check out the videos on your screen.